Hi, uh, I want to thank the board for giving me the opportunity to speak here today. Um, my name is Lindsay West. I'm a teacher, a parent of a student in Minneapolis Public Schools, an African American and an indigenous person, and an elected leader of the teachers union. I'm here today to focus your attention on one question in particular. Why aren't we including teachers? Over 90% of the teachers in Minneapolis are members of the teachers union, yet the union has not been involved in any decision making with regards to the COVID-19 return to school safety plan. While we hear MPS say teachers were involved in this process, they are gaslighting you. Cherry picking a few non-union members or former teachers is not including us. Telling teachers and our union leadership after decisions have been made is not including teachers. We need to stop gaslighting the greater Minneapolis community. We should have, not, we should have been involved in every moment leading up to the school year uh, with regards to the decision making process, not left wondering, are we safe? Are our students safe? We need to have real conversations in de around decision making with, with the teachers who are on the front lines. Elementary teachers are returning to classrooms of 35 students who cannot be vaccinated due to age. Social workers who are expected to support 700 plus students, students who will come with varying degrees of trauma brought on by COVID, the CDD, and much more. Why does this district fail to consult and utilize one of its best resources? We were the ones in the buildings, in the classrooms, on the front lines. The ones who can tell you this may look good on paper, but this is what actually works. In closing, this is an opportunity to do more than false platitudes. Use your power to force the issue. Let's bring the teachers who are working with students to the table and come up with a safety plan that is collectively created. Finding common ground may not be easy, but when we work together in a meaningful way, we can achieve more. We can do right by our students, staff, and families. So I ask you to ask yourself, why aren't we including teachers? Thank you.